grand evening grand evening lovies i am brie from my sacred life i am here to give you a channeled reading for the energies of april 2nd 2023 um just to get through this little shadow work that we are experiencing i feel like this is a time of um a good time to like kind of i guess get through the dark uh get to the dark time but really it's like we're we're taking a a dive into our shadow side and we're unpacking that so that's what today's message is a little bit about off top i want you to see we're diving into our shadow side if you can see that <sighs> We're actually going on a journey. This is giving April um, Ram's new journey. It's a curious journey. It's a journey where we are having an expansion of the mind, of the solar plexus chakra. We are um, in spring season. And you know, you get to the ether nines and our hair is hair of wool if if uh that resonates and you're just kind of like having a transformation uh it's like scorpio energy up in here somewhere in this reading i see we have the death card scorpio so it is indeed uh inner transformation transformation of the uh, renewal of the mind a little bit more um and I believe this transformation is regards to like we're going, if I'm talking about shadow self, it's really being real with ourselves and asking, are we really in control of our money? Um, do we hold on to our money too much? Are we not holding on to our money enough? Are we making money off of what makes us passionate? Are, are we like, you know, we're really like being real with ourselves about how to transform our money, how to uh, create a life that we want for ourselves that's passionately led, that uh, brings in money. You know what I mean? What is really stopping us from doing that? What is really limiting our brain if this is a transformation of the mind? Um, what stops us from being curious? Because, you know, in this season, I feel like this is a season where we do need to be... Uh, quite curious and quite spontaneous and following the nudges because on this journey it is very much being led by the universal forces so when the universe is telling you to move baby you gotta move so i think that's what kind of holds us back maybe not being curious enough and maybe not um having a childlike energy or um uh, you know letting past limiting beliefs stop us from really like just being curious and being spontaneous and having it because that's that's a part of like being passionate right being spontaneous so right here we have a card um this is number 44 and it is the saraswati mastery card and so when I pulled this card for myself, I've kind of been sitting on this card for a couple days. And it is, I want to say Hindu or Indian or, but Saraswati is, she's the deity of uh, knowledge, wisdom, books, flowing water. That this is, if, since it's mastery, this is big mama energy. This is uh the colors were yellow and red and intuitively i felt like my my root chakra and my solar plexus chakra were now balanced um i can now make uh logical decisions not impulsive ones not uh like basing my discipline or basing my actions on how i feel at this moment 
Um, that's another question that you have to ask yourself at this time if we're doing some shadow work. You know what I mean? Like, because I remember a, a few readings before it was talking about setting in your authority, taking authority of your life, taking control of your life. You can't control anybody else. You can't control what nobody else does. Only thing we have control over is mastering of the mind and of the emotions. In this universe, that's the real test. And when you can show up in this world balanced, that is when you have your or reading your ka on tight and you are standing in your power. So I also channeled a uh, power, the power of the pussy as a woman. Um, you know, when you have this big pussy energy or this big per energy, you are standing in your power, your power to love, your power to give birth, your power to heal, your power to uh, bring chaos if need be, your power to cover someone, your power to protect, your power to choose what life and who you want to show up as. And so, um, you know, some shadow selves, like, do you give your power away? Are you are you mastering yourself so you can stay in your power at all times? I feel like with this card, this is the Lizzie Revelations 8 plus 2, 8, 9, 10. This is the end of a cycle. You're getting like, this is like a picture of blue. This is blue, so it's very much blue and pink, giving me Archangel Michael vibes. Um, the emotions in love, balancing your ability to be emotional, uh, think like logically and from your heart. Um, but it's kind of like a like a like a lightning bolt where it's just like, dang, I got it. Like I see where I've been falling short this whole time. I see where I was lacking. I see where I was, you know, giving away my power. And now it all makes sense just like that because we are having a level up. We've ascended. We, you know, and so again on this new journey. We are having more clarity of, you know, our intuition and we're kind of just step by step letting each puzzle piece go and just following the yellow brick road to master thyself and our abilities. Yeah. And so this is another four because this was 44 right here. So we're very much in our, you know, our discipline, our stable, like stability is very important at this time. So everything about what we need to do is understanding we need to keep our eye on the prize. For me, this is what the bow and arrow is. Do not let anything deter you from your long-term goals right now. Because in the past, ask yourself, this might be a shadow work question. Do you finish what you start? Do you believe in yourself enough to finish what you start? Do you think that if you finish it, nothing good is going to come for you? So you, you kind of fall back into like paralysis of paralysis of the analysis um you know you don't take up too much space this is we're not doing that now we're finishing when we're starting we're keeping our eye on the grab uh our eye on the prize making sure that we're, we're uh taking control of our lives stepping into authority of our lives so that our money could be better and we could really do the things that we are passionate about you know what i mean and we can't live a, a i feel like with this card we're also feeling like um we have to hold on to our money because we're in a survival and a lack mindset and that is like some more shadow work that you have to do money is energy and we need to be able to let it flow are you letting it flow but this all has to do with our stability. You know what I mean? I feel like we're doing the shadow work and we are letting go of the illusions. Might have been illusions. Look, spirit is breaking down the illusions that we thought that we had. Like there was limits on our lives. When you step into your power, then you realize that this world, this matrix is limitless. You as a woman, you have hold so much power. You as a divine feminine. You as a chosen one, you are so tuned in and tapped in to who this resonates for. You are nine ether. The sun is shining. Go outside. Ground yourself. Ground yourself so that you can, you, you, you can, um, the mother is water flowing. The daughter is, uh, earth, daughter earth. Ground yourself. Put your feet in some grass so you can really ground these ideas and, you know, really <laughs> just. Mother Nature will tell you what you need to do. It's you and spirit right now. Look, stillness. 
and stillness you will get my big mama because you are interconnected right now this is a very auspicious time so i feel like when we are trying to renew our minds stay focused stay disciplined keep your eye on the prize i want to say balance your practical like this practical world with your spiritual world so what does that look like brie from my sacred life um that looks like you know whatever of course you have to go to work so you need to go to work if you go to school do your school work but you know do not allow your brain to be idle right now you either are praying if you're religious you know you're having um audio books of books that will uh, uplift you and you know meditate telling yourself i am not my thoughts i am not my feelings i am not my body you know anything that kind of gives you an outer body experience and connects you to the um the being able to be consciously aware of being conscious you know what i mean i want it's kind of odd and it's kind of like i'm saying like speaking third but you have to be able to observe your thoughts your mind yourself you need to be able to think first before you move and be really intentional do not just talk listen right now this is a time to really listen okay okay so through stillness, you will be able to get the directions on how to uh, like stay ambitious, do whatever you got to do to get your ambitions moving. Because all of this is geared towards stability and um, a higher consciousness and your passion. You know what I mean? I keep seeing the uh, the colors yellow and red, yellow and red. I told you when I looked up this uh, Sarah Svarsky and it was like um, yellow and red colors. It was the intellect and, and and the passion together, how to bring it down. Um, you probably need to be more humorous too. Don't take life so serious. You know, don't take yourself so serious. Like just kind of laugh at things, expect things to kind of go. Or maybe you need to just, uh, maybe you need to step into some humor, whoever that's for. Maybe you're a comedian. Maybe, you know, on TikTok, you could just be funny. You never know, but put some humor in your put a little razzle dazzle in your thing thing baby okay <laughs> i just need a simone i like getting a simone and my coffee i feel like at this time we need to stay focused on, again, this is all about being focused and disciplined, taking control of your life, and understand that you are a gift from God. We are all God's expressions of love. We all have a gift that we came out here to master and we have to give to the world. Now was the time to tap into your gifts that God gave you and stay focused. You know what I mean? This is very much the time. Don't get distracted. Keep your eye on the prize. Absolutely, this is an auspicious time and a time of healing. This goes back to that blue and pink color. Um, there's a lot of colors right now. Um, when we get higher up into the ethers, when you start learning about like the rays that are like coming off and the neutrons and the whatever, whatever it is. I was studying nine ether and they're saying when you get closer to the sun, you really see like, like colors, a rainbow, you know what I mean? And so when you start tapping into these colors, then you are tapping into the energy and you're able to manipulate how you want to feel. So now was the time that we, when you want to, um, emulate energy then you emulate the color you wear the color get your nails done that color make your hair that color dress that color make your makeup that color let's get creative right now let's really tap into our creativity um and color is really a a, a form of expression and it's crazy because maybe we have some art therapist i was looking into art therapy Maybe someone's an art therapist. That's That might be a good uh, career to get into. I think when we step into this, is also part of like that big purr, big pussy energy. Because now you, you see and 
the world through a creative way, an artist way, through colors and your feeling, your singing, your hearing. But it's another part of being balanced. And when your mind and your heart is balanced, then you kind of let go of those unhealthy relationships. But at the same token, okay, so I when I was talking about um, healing, you know, like you're stepping into your power. I, it's this lady. I try to post her on my TikTok. She's on my Instagram. Her name is Alexis Taylor. And she had these chronicles back in the day. And it was like the power of the pussy. And it was talking about how men, you know, the bad boy type of men that we deal with. They they hit this certain part of the pussy, like the back end. You can't let them do that. And that's the game that your mama didn't tell you. You know what I mean? You, you, you got to fuck this nigga. You got to fuck this man. Don't let him fuck you. Stand in your power, sis. It's either boss up or get bossed around. And right now, because we're very much keeping our eye on the prize, we are mastering the authority and taking authority of charge of our our life we bossing up when you boss up and you act you don't act dumb it was this thing where it says kevin gates said you know we us men don't like at least the men operating out of their lower vibrational ego still they don't like smart and intelligent women and when you're emotionally intelligent and emotionally mature then you could see right through a manipulator and a narcissist, you know what I mean? But anyways, they want you to be dumb. And they will, and we all know, you know, you'll get digmatized. If you if you let that man get too deep in that pussy and, you, and it'll hit the back of your brain and you go dumb, sis, that's out. And that's a law. You know what I mean? If you choose to use your sex magic... And, you know, to get your money or whatever, whatever, that choice is yours. But don't give your power away. Don't just lay down. You know, like Peyton Full said, you lay down or you get out. Don't just lay down, sis. Not unless you know you equally yoked and that's your man. That's your divine masculine. You know, you got to use your better judgment. Therefore, you can stop the frustration in life. You know what I mean? You don't You don't got to be frustrated about what the, how these niggas come in because you are balanced in yourself. You are now healed of needing, of giving off, you know, lonely vibes. You're not her no more, sis. So these, these you know, like when you, when you in your big purr energy, it's just, you attract a different type of a different caliber and you just be looking at yourself like why was i playing myself it's time to step up we we really just being emotionally intelligent we're using our logic you know we're using discernment i want to say when you want when like people come into your life and they're new and fresh seriously pray Pray, ask God to reveal, either take away, reveal, or whatever. Before you make any decision on who a person is in your life, make sure you pray. Every time I pray for somebody, every time I've prayed for somebody, either a person came in to where it took their attention away from me, but I know that everything happens for, you know, like for me and not to me. So it was for my highest good, even if it didn't feel like it at the moment, you know what I mean? But Oh, baby, at the end of the day, it was. So if this is this is the year that we use discernment, that's the whole thing. When you mix in red with yellow, the colors, <laughs> then I think you get in your sacral chakra, which is an orange color, which is standing in your power. That's discernment. My little, my little, what do you call it? Little spidey senses of saying that's the color of discernment. So we will let go of the stubbornness. You know what I mean? We just going to discern. Pray to God about everything. We're not going to be frustrated. We're not going to be stubborn. We just going to stay balanced within ourselves. We're going to always keep our eye on the prize and make sure that whatever we do, we are dealing with equally yoked people. We are filling our own cup. We are making long-term decisions and only things that will, you know, bring us freedom and creative and passion and, you know, peace. This brings us to this one. We want peace. You know what I mean? And you got to be happy within yourself 
and your connection with spirit, you and God right now, and the work you're doing on yourself will bring you true peace. Anything outside of yourself is extra. Be happy with you. You know what I mean? And in the midst of that, I believe part of the gifts that you're getting is to be innovative. You know what I mean? God has wants to put mama, mother, big mama, big per energy. She want to give you these ideas. You know what I mean? Bundle them up. I, I still want to go back to that humor, being innovative and humorous, but speak the truth. Always be real about what you're talking about. You know what I mean? And, and on this about self-love and helping everybody as well as yourself, love yourself and transform and, you know, on this journey of getting back to divinity, you know what I mean? And have pride about what you're doing and knowing that you're royalty, you know what I mean? Because I just heard the number, you know, big mama, when you really tapped into your spiritual nature and you know what's what, you know that only 144 thousand families was chosen it's only a few of us that's chosen in royalty and it's time to step up into your leadership skills you see this purple and this white we want to be pure royalty that's that's the energy that we want to give off you know we're spiritual rebels we are creating our own life we are teaching people how to create their own life and their on this new new world that we are accustomed to that we are from um helping people see the divinity to themselves and love themselves and heal themselves and to create this abundant world and this inheritance of the the renewal of the mind that we all have nobody's left out it's just all about loving yourself healing yourself being real with yourself going through the shadow work doing the dark night of the soul you know what I'm saying? Doing the work for yourself and your family lineage. So you could, you could change the generations going further. You know what I mean? You're doing the work of the ancestors. And this is all this shadow work. And, and the airy season is about putting in that work. So, so do you got it in you? It's in you. That shit in you. It's either in you. It can't be on you. It's in you. That's that big mama energy, that big purr energy. You know what I mean? If you were masculine, then it's that big dick energy. Whatever it is, it's that, it's, it's that power. It's your power. You standing in your power? You standing tall? You and God? It's in you. It's in all of us. We're all expressions of God. Right now, I feel like we are getting answers to all the mysteries of the things that held us back. This goes back to the shadow work we are you see for this is like um the crow and the scroll for me the scroll is like the book of life and um coming full circle the crow because you're able to see you're, you're able to like see it from a bird's eye view and have wisdom and discernment now so synthesize you're thinking about the best way to create a life that is stable and you can play one that you really enjoy and you could be your inner child and you know it's wrapped up in state stability because stability is really important for you so you just be grateful and you create you know that you can create the life you want by being like grateful for what you have and what you're going to have stay in deep gratitude right now you know, fulfill your mind with, uh, you know, idle time, affirmations, mudras, mantras, um, audio books, self-help books, school, trainings, uh, uh, to music, gratitude lists. Like, I don't know. Don't have no double idols mind right now. Not right now. You are not your thoughts. Okay. Do a lot of meditating. Meditate. Meditate. Eat healthy. Eat a lot of green celery in the morning. Celery juice. If you can. Key lime shots in the morning. Drink water. Tea. If you can eat like vegan meals. If you can fast right now. Just whatever you can do. Stay tapped in to spirit right now. No, I don't mind. We are not our thoughts. We are... Uh, in an assimilation, okay? Think of 
What's the movie, you guys? The Matrix. But it's time to unplug. And when I say unplug, you need to be able to close your eyes and sit here and feel your vessel and and think about your consciousness within your consciousness. I am not my body. I am not my feelings. I am not my mind. And be able to go on autopilot and hear your thoughts. Hear your thoughts, thoughts. And be able to quiet them because now we can. Okay? Yeah, we're learning to make better fucking choices, okay? <laughs> we're definitely make better fucking choices from this day forward. It says, if you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. This is, again, all wraps back up into the shadow work. Like, what have you really been doing with your life this far? Because you could have did it already, but did you? Were you making the correct long-term decisions or were you making impulsive ones? And ones, or like if you didn't feel like finishing something, did you not finish it or did you get up off your ass regardless of how you felt and you let consistency and discipline override anything else? Because that's getting into that masculine and the feminine. And I think that's the whole thing, bas balancing the masculine and the feminine. Take the break when you need the break, but know that when it's time to go, it's time to go, okay? And this says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get this shit done. Matter of fact, every season is about getting that work done. This ain't the season to be relaxing, especially not coming up in tourist seasons. Tauruses are go-getters. Geminis are, you know, you don't relax until like cancer season. So right now for the next three months, literally, go. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Get to going. In regards to uh, surrender unhealthy relationships, kind of fail right here. Whoever this is for, it says stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that person, just fucking stop. Spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Spend your time on yourself because you used to get digmatized, sis. That's why this says that. This is part of the shadow work. You know, stepping into your power. Don't letting your, your, your heart, your emotions override your logic. If you don't got no money to be dating right now, don't do it. If you don't have no money for anything, girl, keep it on the price. You don't need to. You're not missing out on anything when you're leveling up, okay? God wants to get you to the next place. All it is, it's right there in the form of consistency and discipline taking authority of yourself if all you had if spirit said i just need you for 30 60 90 days and you will have your life back after that would you sacrifice for yourself or are you gonna just always be there for other people when you could be there for yourself you know because another another shadow work is you know putting your work into other people and and or always focusing on someone else when you could just focus on yourself. Always telling other people what to do when you really could be doing it yourself. You know what I mean? Do you really take your own advice? Now is the time to be all about you and step into your power, step into your authority, your big pussy energy. I promise you the person that you want to be and you want to see is right there. Keep going, okay? nothing um this last one it's not everyone else's fault it's yours you are a grown-ass adult stop blaming others for your shit you got to take accountability for where you are you have to take accountability for you know you still going out every weekend or are you sitting your ass at home studying for a a, a a new skill that'll help you in the future. Are you making long-term decisions? Are you saving your money? Are you paying yourself first? Are you paying your debt? Are you paying your car note? Are you paying your rent? Are you paying the light bill? Are you paying the uh, mortgage? Whatever you got to do so you can buy a, a house. What are you doing that will help your future self? We're no more. We're, we're we're giving away like you know the childish games are gone. So now we 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 grown. We royalty. We adults. You know, we we that bitch, and and it's and and she takes care of her business. 
She knows. You know what I mean? She knows. She knows. Okay? Nothing will come of this situation. Um, what I get right now, void, of course, moon. I think this is just, this is where we are when it comes to, like, you know, the person. Let that shit go. Only thing we are to focus on right now is to take authority of yourself. Nobody's going to save you. You can't control your parents. And, you know, like, if your parents have to discipline and you don't, well, hey, that's that's what you miss out on. But, you know, what they created, that's not, it ain't yours. You, everybody got to save themselves. Your parents was the vessel to get you into this world. You got to hit. It's your job to heal yourself. It's your job to show up for yourself. It's your job to celebrate yourself. It's your job to validate yourself. It's yourself to see yourself. It's your job to, it's your job to root for you. Nobody coming to save you, sis. But you do have, you know, the ancestors and the archangels and you got, got, you got everybody to support you. You have support. But essentially, you got to hit, you got to do it. Adjustments are required. So we going to, you know, we almost, this is third quarter of the moon. So that means we there. So that means we just got to like tweak a little bit things. Make sure that everything we doing and everyone that is around us, we're all on the same page. And we not having nobody that's, you know, sinking the ship that, uh, you know, that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, be, like snakes in our grass later. No, just focus on you. Just focus on you and God. And and whatever adjustments that need to be required, God is God got you. Look, you are very close to your achieving your goal. For me, this is just like like really your intuition. Like your intuition got you. This is the gibbous moon. You almost there. Your commitment is being tested. Are you showing up for yourself and for God? For, for spirit, you know what I mean? Okay, are you tapping in? Are you communing daily like we talked about with spirit? Are you doing what you got to do for yourself? I feel like a, a fiery climax will approach. Miracles going to happen. Some going to happen. This is a airy season. So in this season, I it's probably like, you know, the mo momentum will gain. Because this is, you know, in spring, we blooming now. We coming up out of hibernation. And it's a time to give rather than take. So if you're a gift, we need to give. We need to give of ourselves to serving the mission, to spirit, being the vessel for spirit. This is the time to give, ground yourself, do the work, show up, do what you got to do. You got it in you. It's right here. Don't give up on yourself. Love yourself. Choose you. Choose you. Choose to love. Cho choose to walk in love. Choose to be loved. Do your homework on what love is. Don't give your power away. Have the choice. You masculine, you feminine, you are every woman, you are everything, you are, <laughs> you gotta know who you are, sis. We on a road to, to loving, to love, to loving ourselves and healing ourselves and, and reaching the divinity within and, and a fiery climax approaches. Our goal is very close. Our commitment is being tested because it's right there. Nipsey said it's the victory lap. It's kind of like that. You tap into that renaissance woman era. Tap into your villain era. Tap into your dark femme fatale. I don't, whatever. Your generator. Find your human design. Know your natal chart. You know, know everything that you could possibly know about yourself. And choose you and step into your power that you know who to be. That your Ori is telling you. That mind, it's that, it's that mind, that big mama mind, that energy, that per energy, that color. That walk in love, when you walk in love, you walk in color, baby. And bright lights. I really hope this helps someone for this airy season get to work. 
Only thing you need to do, do your inner child work. Take yourself, I think you should write in the morning, meditate, write, see what here comes out. Take yourself out, date your, date yourself, hang out with your inner child, do your shadow work. And be real with yourself. Really, really get quiet, get quiet. And be real with yourself. Eat healthy and really commune. Stay commune. Stay prayed up. Stay prayed up, okay? Stay prayed up. That's the best bet. Talk to y'all later.